today's video I take a 30mm steel bar and make it into a cam. This cam locks onto a steel tube that runs the length of the workshop and holds my camera in position when I'm filming. I need a quick release lock so let's go into the workshop and see how we make it. This is today's project. What I want to do is machine an offset in the centre of this bar so that when I turn the handle the outside rotates and the offset pushes a pin in and out. I have the four jaw chuck in the headstock, dial indicator in my tool post and I've adjusted the jaws so I get the reading as true as I can. This is running out about a thou, thou and a half. But what I will have to do is just machine off. You see on the on this end, it's a small welded piece where someone's welded. But I want to put a 45 degree angle on this end, so I'm hoping that will machine off. Well, the first thing to do is square up the end of the bar. put an angle on this end and to do that I'm just going to adjust my compound slide. I changed my compound slide around 45 degrees, altered the tool so it's presented to the workpiece correctly and now by using the compound slide I'll machine a 45 degree angle on the end. So what I've done is I've moved the part out of the jaws so that the bar can move back and forwards without the, the bore on the chuck interfering. What I need to do is move this 295 thou that way, offset. So what I'll do first is just touch dull indicator on the part, zero it. One, one rotation is a hundred thou, so this is a long range dial indicator. So there's one, two, ninety-five. Now I need to push the part in the chuck across until that comes back down to zero. And what I'm doing, obviously, two ninety-five was center to center. Let's get this right. 
So the centers are sent to us 295 there. So when you're turning it round, you're doubling that, so it should be just on the 600. One, two, three, four, five. So that's tenth there under 600, which is right. All we need to do now is tighten the jaws. Make sure they're all tight. I've inserted my parting off tool into the tool holder. I've positioned my tool the right distance from the end to the centre there where I want the recess to be. What I want to do is make a diameter there 8mm wide. I've set my zero so I'll move 4mm each side. diameter I'll need to bring the tip out a little bit because I can see it just started to knock on the saw holder Seven eighty seven. That should be okay. Okay, let me show how it works. I'll take this section out so you can see inside. We have cap it in there so I can adjust this in and out to make it longer. A block 
that forms part of the curve of the bar I want to clamp to. That goes inside and locates on the on the cam. So as I tighten the cam up, it pushes the block up and clamps on the pipe. Now I have to get this distance from the top of the cam to the, the block exactly right because if it's too short it will just go round without clamping and if it's too long it will lock up halfway round and as soon as I let go the clamp comes off. So I need to get the the clamping position on the peak of the cam and that's why I have this adjusting screw there which just goes inside that. Now I've used this for a few years with the screw thread and the screw thread was another pipe which went into the end here with a thread going through and pushed that block up. The problem with that was you couldn't release it quickly and tighten it up quickly. It took a two or three turns to tighten it up and two or three turns to undo it. There was no quick release so I'm trying to make this a quick release. Let's see how it works now. I've replaced this part here and I've marked the end of the cam with a little spot that shows me when the cam is at full height. I've replaced the bolt with a proper handle which is just a piece of steel rod with the thread on the end. It's a bit more comfortable to hold than a, a bolt. So turn the handle, a piece of wood comes out. So on the bottom of the camera mount there's a universal joint and the camera goes on to here and further up the bar we have the block that goes onto a white tube that goes right the way across the workshop. At the top we have the cam that I've just made here. So I'm going to pull this down, the clamp is loose, it come off. When I push this back up, the clamp is tight onto the bar. So now I should be able to move my camera anywhere in that circle. Clamp this back up, the camera will stay there. When I want to move the camera, I just undo the clamp and I can slide the camera anywhere along the workshop. Quick release for the camera. Here's the four parts that made up the cam. We've got the handle, the cam itself with the offset, the push rod that goes into the centre, and then an adjusting cap head that goes into the end. So when it's assembled the handle goes in, that push rod goes into the, the slot and as you turn the cam it pushes the push rod in and out and that pushes this block of wood up onto the pipe and tightens up on the pipe. Four parts. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering. <laughs>